What's up guys? Today Matt Co. Michael just pulled up and we got some stuff that we're hoping he's gonna have and hopefully he's got Wally's drill bits cause we got a job here that's gonna require Wally's drill bits and my drill bits and Bill's drill bits and probably a whole bunch more drill bits. So anyway, let's go take a look, see what he's got. We could have one man standing over his shotgun while the other man's drilling. That's about the way it's going to have to be today. You know it's a bad day when you're already planning on losing. Oh, look, it ain't if we burn up some drill bit, it's how many is going <laughs> to got, I mean, just like be obliviated today. It's going to be a I bunch of them. Already, no. That'd be a cool little nuts and bolts magnet if it was bigger. Well, expand it down on the bottom. There you go. How nifty. See, that's one of the new things this week. You went straight to it. Hmm. Wally'd have it black in about five seconds. So well, it's like him dog dishes. You know what? Uh -huh. It's like those little yeah, fold out dog dishes. Yeah. I remember my mama had a little collapsible cup. It would flatten down to about like that. The only thing about the, I found out the hard way on those collapsible bowls and stuff, they don't like the microwave too well. After you do it so many times, it doesn't want to cooperate. You're all <laughs> walking jaw. Yeah. Have you got an air drill? Uh, I've got that one. Oh, that ain't big Hold enough. on, hold on. I know that ain't big enough. Let's see, I think. That thing will commit suicide before we even get it started today. How about this one? I've got an angle head. Well, I, I've got one of those too. This one's a half inch truck. What's the RPM? 700 on RPM on this one. What RPM are you looking for? Probably around 1600. Woo. Yeah, you're needing some a workhorse, huh? Yeah. Well, this this brain is tough. Tough. I think I'm gonna have to air drill that style. Yeah, I was actually about as air drills. He's got one, but a half inch, but it's 700 RPMs. That's right, she'd give up the ghost before she got started again. What you think? Where's it at? That actually might work going through frame if you had a good bit. But that's too slow for what we got. Yeah. Way too slow. Yeah, I'm sorry, we're going to have about 16. It's going big bad. I really wish. I really wish I had a set of those hover steps. I sold every one of those there in that cell. Dang, Wally, well, you got a full box now. Mm -hmm. Fix me up. Just call me if you break them. <laughs> you got You'll me? just hang out here till after lunch. <laughs> I, don't I don't think my ears are going to hear all that cussing. Oh. <laughs> on a Friday. It's going to be some today, I can I'm guarantee you. Ain't it, Bill? Mm -hmm. Maybe on y'all's part. I don't mind. Bill be cussing for a I do enough for him too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'll make up for you, Bill. Show sure slacking enough. in that department. Look at there. That's like the snap-on slip that I got with the wood yeah, box. Yeah, so that's another one. That's uh, yeah. that's another nice. one we'll show today. It's not new by no means, but it's new to the truck. So, all right, Wally, I'm already trying to claim these. So. 
Thank you. So I, I got that. I like this style better than the fold out style because the fold out style, somebody's always going to bend it, trying to mm -hmm. force it back in there. And that aggravated me when I was a tech. So we've got those. I like the case. Of course, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's what it is. That wood box is where I, 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 I that's what caught my eye when I bought those knuckles ones. Yeah. I like them. Let's see what we those are new to the truck today. I've also got, let's see where it's at. Let's see. So I kind of went on both ends of the spectrum this time. You know, you've got your technicians that can do that kind of stuff, and then you got your technicians that stick to the, the slider stuff. Which this could be light or any electrician, or electrician. Any guy that works electrical knows that you've got to start with a battery. If it's got a bunch of corrosion and crap, it can set codes. So this is one of Mako's battery maintenance kits. So of course it has all your sizes, your cleaners, your puller. It's just an overall set. Mm -hmm. So if you did a lot of electrical, you know it's got a lot of corrosion. You better start there. Or you'll chase an electrical issue for a week. Well, have you ever did that? We've all been there, I'd hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd like to say that I haven't been there, but there has been times that I have chased it and chased it and chased it, and then go back to me. Wally did a trip yesterday, and he said, you know, what's wrong with this damn thing? They got no wires coming out of it. It didn't have two relays, they were just missing. So two wires wasn't hot, I just put two relays in it and fixed it. I was sitting, well, on, in the bottom, it's an international, and uh, there was fuses in place, you'd have hot going out and nothing coming out the other side. It makes no sense to me. Why would you have a fuse there? Well, now, you know, cars have a lot of spots that has um, dead holes. It's powered on one side, but mm -hmm. it, they don't put a fuse in exactly. there. Exactly. Unless they let somebody work on it that don't know what in the hell they're doing. <laughs> and they just start putting fuses because there ain't fuses there. And then, it, you know, you're testing. And you're like, oh, there's a problem. That's yeah, a problem. Wally, he's like, I don't know what's wrong with some bitch. I ain't got no wires on this side. Two, two relays in there. If they weren't like brand new, I was like, shit, it's like they made for that to happen. <laughs> You'd see wires looping back up to itself underneath the fuse block, and you just went to a relay holder. So what did it, what were they controlling? Uh, ABS, ABS some brakes. Some brake lights, trailer lights. Why well, did somebody didn't know what they were doing and pull them out? Because it didn't have wires, right? Exactly. I think somebody robbed them is what happened. They'd been set for a while something. or something. Well, that, that's also a possibility. Got it working though, that's all that matters. Do you have those relay, what do you call that one that's like yours with the switches on them? The relay resettable switch. relays? Yeah. How much do you mean this? How much them are today? Since I need them, they'll be higher, but I'm glad I don't need them, so they'll be cheaper. <laughs> Well, he said, I don't need them. In fact, he's got his set. All I got to do is look underneath the vehicle until I find them. Just in my electrical drawer, not underneath they the vehicle. They run $81. All right. <laughs> so, these got shipped to me as part of a new product. I'm guessing uh, Nipix come out with this new style here. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. You know, they had just the regular chrome ones. Or not chrome. The silver ones. Yeah. And now they come out with that style. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Sometimes it's the new stuff. I just want to try out just to see how it works. How much are them? Uh, let me let's see. About 50 bucks. Well. He said, well. <laughs> well. <laughs> what you done found? I don't well, have a clue. not as bad as I thought. They're um, 84. Explain this to me. Explain what? So that's for... Um, putting on springs on the drum brakes. Mm -hmm. So you take it, you tighten it down, and then you pull it. That's pretty cool, never seen that. Oh, it locks down when you tighten yeah, it, it locks, down. Yeah, it locks down on the spring, and then you pull it over. And How many springs it. have you had slip on you over the years? Oh, Man, I had one one time that I was putting on, and it was being a, well, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was being bad. Booger, yeah. yeah. Been a booger. That word. Uh, and it slipped, and about that time, it went into the bottom of my fingernail. 
I don't know who finished that car up, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I walked off. I bet you said it was dirty word. I think day. I had an apprentice at that time that, that I was training. I think he finished it up. Um, because it actually come back and I had to readjust the brakes. So, but pretty sure he finished it up for me. But yeah. <laughs> Let me see that thing. Cause somebody's going to know that part number. Yeah, I had the in the package. It ain't package got a back part there. number on it. That's it how I pulled it down. It ain't got no writing on it. Or it nothing. is a BST 45. BST 45. This is wear eye protection. <laughs> I'm not real writing. Now, how hey, you know that's going to be a Matco item? So if somebody comes back in here with it. It says Matco. I know. Look at that. Not magic. You wanna see it, Bill? He's looking. Hopefully the spring brakes are about gone on cars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think they were a good design, but I think they need to be gone. Hey, but you still got all these folks that like to run the old classic stuff. Like, yeah. us, huh? like me and Clay and Well, you know. I got a pickup older than me that I love. Wally calls his a classic, but it's like what, a ninety two model? That is a classic when Wally was born after the truck was. Shoot. <laughs> when the truck was born before you, it is a classic. I'm 10 years older than that truck. <laughs> Wally's still a baby. Michael's young too, though. How old are you? Uh, well, see, I was born in 91, so 27. Yep. Y'all both ain't been old enough to get the snot dry yet. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't let it dry. I just wipe it off. There's one thing you can't fix. Lick it off. <laughs> no. Like a cow. No, wipe it off. <laughs> you can't change your age, so. That's right. You just have to go on with it. Yeah, you can once a year. That's right. Just once a year, up. you can go up. <laughs> go up a number. All right, guys. I'm going to get the uh, fuel pump relay bypass master kit. And that's a mouthful. The part number M9038. And I'm going to try a pair of these Knipex. Fire wrench thing to do this. So there we go. And while I got some drill bits warranted. What about you, Bill? I think I'm just gonna buy me a receipt today. Still thinking on a couple items. Still thinking. Don't think too hard. No, it might blow what up. I say you think <laughs> long, you think wrong. All right, guys, like always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button because why, Bill? Totally free. Totally free. You guys have a great weekend. Catch you next time.